Vaigur Jika Khalsa, Vaigur Jiki Fateh. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm really excited to show you how to live stream Kirtan programs from your mobile phone while still having the sticky to the max Bonnie overlay on top. Before jumping into it, a big welcome to anyone who's new to my channel. Please press the subscribe button down below and the bell icon. I post new videos every single week. So the first thing you'll need to have is not just your phone, but also a laptop or a computer with the latest version of sticky to the max running. And also that computer has to be on Wi-Fi or an internet connection. If you're at the Gurdwara, usually there's already a laptop there with sticky to the max running. But if you don't already have that open, be sure to download it from sttm.co slash download. I'll leave a link down below. It's really important that you have the newest version for this to work. Once you download and install Sticky to the Max, open up the program and just search for any random Shabbat and open that up for right now. If you're new to using Sticky to the Max, by the way, I have a full in-depth tutorial video showing you how to use every single part of the app. I'll leave a link for it down below in the description. So once you have a random Shabbat opened up, the next thing you want to do is go to the Bonnie overlay menu. If you're on a Windows computer, you'll find this under the file menu on the top of the screen. If you're on a Mac like me, you'll find find this under the window menu, then Bonnie overlay. Once you have Bonnie overlay open, turn the feature on if you haven't already and make sure you see that URL at the bottom of the screen. Once you're at this part, we're going to leave the computer alone for a minute and go to our phone. Now on your phone, it's really important that you're on the same Wi-Fi connection as the computer running sticky to the max. This will not work if you're not on the same Wi-Fi. On your phone, you want to go to the App Store and download the Stream Labs app. It's a free app and is commonly used by gamers and people who use Twitch, but it has all the features we need for YouTube live streaming for Keithin as well. Now, once you download and open the app, you'll have to connect it to your YouTube and Google account. Log into your Google account and connect it to your YouTube account. And after that, it'll also ask you to give permission for your microphone and camera. It may also ask you for a bunch of other widgets. You can just uncheck all the ones that are default and press next. Now at this point, I should also mention if your YouTube account has never live streamed before, you'll probably have to enable the live stream feature on your YouTube account. And the Streamlabs app won't work unless you do this first. And it does take 24 hours for YouTube to turn on live streaming for your account. So go to youtube.com, go to the live stream section, and just make sure you're able to go there and use the live stream feature. With that being said, assuming you have live streaming enabled on your account, you should be at the main screen of the app now with the camera turned on and ready to go. What we're gonna wanna do now is go to the top left menu button and then go to the editor. Once you tap on editor, you'll see on the top right of the screen, a little icon with a few shapes. You wanna press on that and press on the plus button for adding a new layer. Once you do that, you wanna press add widget and then press add custom URL. Now you've probably guessed by now that you wanna go back to the key to the max, get that URL that you opened up earlier and type that into the box on your phone. It's really important that you type this in exactly the same way it's written in Sticky to the max. Don't miss a colon, don't miss a slash. Just type it in exactly the way it's written. Once you do that, you want to press the OK button and you'll see the screen come up with a little overlay with the URL that you just typed in. You want to resize this so it takes up the majority of the phone. Don't worry about making it perfect. Just keep it centered and just make it as big as you can. Now at this point, once you press that check mark, you should see something from Sticky to the Max pop up on your phone. You should see the overlay. It may not look pretty quite yet, but it should still be there and it should come up. And we're gonna make it look nicer in a minute, but if you don't see that overlay come up yet, it means you typed something wrong or your Wi-Fi is not the same as your computer. So at this point, we're gonna go back to the computer and make the Bonnie overlay look a little nicer for the phone. The first thing I recommend doing is changing the layout to the very last option. This is a new classic option that they updated recently. And this will just make it so it's floating at the bottom of the screen and there's no top or bottom header. After you do that, I strongly suggest making the Gurmukhi font size a lot bigger. Same thing for the English. You'll want to make sure you're looking at the phone and not the preview window because the phone is what you want to look at in terms of what the final result will be. The preview window is not taking into account the sizing. So make the Gurmukhi bigger and you should see the font size on the phone update in real time. Once you've adjusted the font size for both the Gurmukhi and the English, at this point you could technically stop and move forward with going live. But what I also like to do is turn off the logo option and I change the colors around a little bit. On the right side, you'll see some themes to choose from. And then you can also change the opacity of the background so it looks a little more transparent. And this will just clean things up a little bit. It'll just make things look a little nicer. Once you've done this, you're pretty much ready to go. You can go live on your phone at this point. But before you do that, I strongly suggest going into the menu one more time and go to your settings. 
under the broadcast options, you can actually choose your broadcast settings. So you can choose your HD settings if you want to lower that or higher that. And if you have a weak Wi-Fi connection, you can lower your bitrate as well. Once you've made your final setting changes, go back to the main screen and just tap anywhere on the screen. You'll see a red icon come up at the bottom and that's your go live button. You want to press on that and you have a few options to choose from. I strongly recommend pre-scheduling your live events on YouTube prior to doing this so you can just put in the url and it'll go live directly into the pre-scheduled event but if you didn't do that no problem just go to the bottom option for create new event and you can go live on the fly give it a title and choose your privacy settings right there too and that's it once you press ok you're officially going to be connected and going live you'll see your bitrate in your fps on the top left which is very handy if you go anywhere below 24 fps it's going to look very laggy and stuttering on the other end of the screen so that means your wi-fi probably isn't the best so just adjust your settings accordingly don't overstream the quality it's better to have a lower quality stream that's actually fluid than a high quality stream that's lagging every two seconds now a few other notes i should also mention if you go to your computer on youtube.com and go to the live stream section you'll see the live stream from your phone come up in the menu over here and you can get the url to share with your social media from here i should also probably mention if you're new to sticky to the max that if you change the line on sticky to the max it'll update in real time on the broadcast so it's a feature that's been around for a while now but I don't think we've had a way of broadcasting from your phone directly using Bonnie overlay you normally have to have a computer and a camera and a whole setup this makes it so so easy to do you just have to have a phone with the Streamlabs app and you're good to go in the Streamlabs app I encourage you to play around a little bit there's a few options to change the camera if you have an iPhone like I do you can change to the ultra wide camera which is a whole new perspective or the telephoto option as well so you can zoom in more and if you want to get super super fancy I have a whole other video on using the Bonnie controller feature if you have a second phone or a friend's phone or an iPad you can actually use that to control your laptop. So once you do this initial setup, you don't want to sit next to the computer anymore or your phone. You can just leave all of that behind so you can sit in the Kirtan Sangat and still use everything from your phone. I am super excited to be trying this out and seeing more people go live from their homes and other smaller Kirtan events while having that Bonnie overlay turned on. It makes it so much better for the Sangat watching at home to have that Bonnie overlay in the stream and now it's easier than ever to use that feature. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Gurjika. Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh.